The Biden administration has announced new emission standards for cars that are being touted as historic progress, but members of West Virginia's congressional delegation disagree. The new rules are not as strict from 2027 to 2029 as previously announced, but ramp up until the new preferred benchmark is reached in 2032. It targets emissions from cars and trucks that use gas or diesel. It also requires increased sales of electric vehicles by 2032. Electric vehicles need to make up 52 percent of the new car sales. Senator Manchin said that the federal government has no authority over the personal vehicle purchases of Americans, saying, quote, This reckless and ill-informed rule will impose what is effectively an EV mandate without ensuring the security of our supply chains from nations like China and without a realistic transition plan that addresses our domestic infrastructure needs. Senator Shelley Moore Capito, a ranking member of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee, echoed Manchin's comments, saying the move comes as the EPA closes power plants. She said, quote, these regulations represent yet another step towards an unrealistic transition to electric vehicles that Americans do not want and cannot afford, which threatens America's electric grid and increases our reliance on China for critical minerals. 